All right, hey, Mustang Stampede here. Um, got the Sage 2 XD clutch and flywheel in, and I've been getting a check engine light here. Um, I ran my handheld tuner on here. It's giving me a random misfire. Misfire number five, miss number, misfire number three. I'm headed to the Ford dealership right now, and I'm gonna have them uh, go ahead and uh, do the misfire, uh, like relearn. Um, it's something they do with the Ford IDS toolbox. I believe it's on a laptop at the dealership. They plug into the OBD uh, two port and it's inside the IDS toolbox. And basically what's happening is um, when you do your clutch flywheel, um, the, the crank sensor um, kind of loses its mind. This doesn't happen on every clutch install. Um, this may have something to do with the fact that I have a racing flywheel in now, I'm not sure, but um, for whatever reason, it's, uh, you know, you, some, you may feel a little loss in power as it shuts the cylinder down uh, because it thinks there's a misfire when there's not. And basically what's going on is as the crankshaft um, sensor uh, is being counted by, it's probably like, uh, I've, I've seen what they look like. They look like a little tooth uh, like a gear with teeth or whatever and there's a sensor that counts uh, where the crank is and I believe what happened is when I uninstalled the flywheel that came out a little bit and I just slid it back into place and I think that basically um, it just doesn't actually know where it's supposed to be now um, so it's uh, you know it's miscalculating the amount where exact position of where the crank is so um, I'm gonna have them reset it and that's just a little update uh, the clutch feels great um, it's not it is a stage two XD 500. And basically what you see is that uh, a very much stock-like feel. Um, it does grab, it definitely feels like it grabs a lot harder than uh, the stock clutch. Um, but it's not that instant on off as with a racing clutch, so to speak. Um, so I'll let you know how the Ford IDS toolbox goes as far as uh, resetting or relearning the crank um, position sensor. Um, it's supposed to only take a few minutes to basically uh, recalibrate it to basically like zeros. That way it can start counting again and relearning where the crank is. Hey, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.